Hello everybody, here is the latest set of four done. These are all 12 scale. Um, these are all gonna be up for sale shortly once the window masks are all done. This is the last of the hatchback stuff. And then uh, in the, yeah, I think for any, yeah, 12, any scale, I don't think we have any 10 scale hatchbacks. And um, we'll have some more 12 scale, there's still more 12 scale stuff, NASCAR, Can-Am stuff to go. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, there's like a pick, no, a van, but that's got repair work. There's some other stuff that still, still to come, but this is the last of the hatchbacks we'll see here today. So we've got a whole stable of hatchbacks now. I mean, if you're into hatchback racing, some of the classic hatchback stuff, we've got a bunch now to choose from. And I think they look cool when they're running around on the track. Though they do end up being, I think, more around a 10 scale, really, I mean, a 10 scale body that goes on a 12 scale car when it's all said and done. So the first one, uh, oh, and I should say too, these are all European stuff today. Everything's from Europe. We've got the WCS here, um, Can-Am style. Uh, it's got this little bump out in the back. I don't know why the mold has that, unless it was a repair or something. I, I don't really understand why that's there. I don't think it's a wing thing, unless it's for mounting, helping assist mount a wing. I don't know. If you know what that, why that bumps in the back there, let me know. I don't know. I'll have to try and find, see if I can find some pictures of this and figure it out. Then we've got uh, what we're calling the base 900 turbo. Uh, or maybe we should call it the Bass 900 Turbo. I don't know. Uh, then we've got the CSI. I think we've got it. CSI Bavaria or something like that. I forget what we called it. <laughs> but this one, uh, this one, all of them, the, the, since this is a test run, I just used like a lot of times some of the, the Lexan that maybe was not so great. And in this case, the film on everything we used for this has got like weird bubbles or pinhole marks all over in it so these will be sold at a reduced price because I, I think it does kind of it leaves a light little mark when it's all formed it's hard to see in the plastic but it is there and uh, everyone knows I don't like to sell stuff that looks junky uh, at least in my opinion even though some people think it's perfectly fine I don't think so and then also all of them I missed it somehow because I think I was so worried about what the film looked like there was a little something stuck to the side of the form, which of course was away from me on the machine at the time. On this, uh, I don't know, would that be the driver's side door if this was in Europe? But yeah, you get a look at it there. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I think this one, I don't know, would you classify that as a hatchback? I Maybe not, I don't, I don't know. And then we've got this one here that really caused some problems. This is the Brit. And as you can see, uh, there were some issues, and uh, yeah, but after many failed attempts, well, not a huge amount, but a few failed attempts, we finally got it to come out correctly, <laughs> but there's a limited amount of these, of course, then for the first run, since uh, there was some problems, because just did 10 of them, and four of them came out looking like this, and I'm going to have a video that'll probably be posted up shortly probably maybe the day after this you see this video uh that is for the vacuum forming fans to discuss how i got from this to this because it was a pain uh to get to that stage and then i should mention this video has got more stuff coming up in it there's going to be four more bodies because we've got four more i'm going to put this before the other ones that were really done ahead of time but they're all getting their window masks done at the exact same time same group of stuff being cut out uh, on the vinyl cutter to get the window masks all sorted out. So watch right after this. We're going to have a bunch of 10th scale pan car bodies coming up. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Here's the latest new stuff, all 10th scale. Um, I ran six bodies today, only four new ones, though. And uh, it is currently 19 degrees outside in Rochester, Minnesota right now. But it is, let's get an ambient temperature off this thing, bad boy, right here. 37 Celsius, 38 Celsius, or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of water and sweat in places that are gross. <laughs> and there went a bunch of people from the video. <laughs> 
But yeah, today is um, uh, all wide 10th scale stuff for uh, pretty much, you know, stuff like the old um, RC-10Ls and the old Bowlink, um, you know, uh, was it Invaders or, yes, uh, Invader? I don't know. I can't keep up with all the different ones there were. But anyway, the wide stuff, not the narrower SS type stuff. This is all the wide stuff. So we've got the TOJ Can-Am. That's all ready. Um, then we've got the Bull Wide. We also have a narrow version of this one, but this is the wide one. At some other point, we'll probably, I think, I think we do have the narrow one of this one. I don't know. Well, if we have the narrow one, eventually at some point we'll run it. Then we've got the 86 Raven. We've already run the 12th scale of this one. So if you're looking to have a matching set, there you go. You'll have the, you can have the 12th scale pan car one plus the 10th scale pan car version of the same body. And I believe this is an 84. Did I say 86? I think it might have said 86. This is 84, I believe, styling of the Raven is what we're calling it, yeah. Then we got the 10th scale of the Air. We've already run the 12th scale, been, uh, ran that one a long time ago. So now we've got the 10th scale version of it. It's got a little bit of, since it's such a large size, where this, the plastic cools when it first hits the mold and it's got a little wave stuff in it, but um, that's just the facts of life there. Unless we go to a much larger sheet size. They all have that actually, because at this, when you're dealing with the mold or form this size, they all have spots where that does that either, like in the windows potentially, but so did the original bowling. So we're not anything different than we had before with the bowling. Um, but I I could get rid of it, but they're, like I've mentioned in other videos, it's gonna cost you more. So trying to keep it at a reasonable price and a reasonable effort at my, uh, in my case, I don't have to spend as much time or effort trying to get sheet sizes just the right size and have a lot more waste. So those will be up on the store as soon as we get the window masks done, of course, which by the time you see this means that the window masks are already done. These might go up, these two, since we're not going to do window masks for this concave window, and of course there's nothing on that one to do, may go up ahead of time on eBay in the store before you see the video. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy the winter. More than I am.